I am a girl with Asperger's syndrome. I'm the Aspie girl. Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Do you know that game called The Sims 4 by EA Games? I actually made a video of me playing it several months ago. Well, as you may or may not know, I used to be a very obsessive simmer when I was younger, before The Sims 4 came out. If you watched my old YouTube channel, Content Star 49 back in the day, I'm pretty sure you knew that. Well, in this video, I will be telling you my story about when I was absolutely obsessed with The Sims. I hope a lot of you can relate to the story I'm about to tell you, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. So, back in the early 2000s when I was only a toddler, my older sister Brooke loved playing The Sims. Now, back then, they didn't even have The Sims 2. At the time, we only had The Sims 1. So, I would watch Brooke play it when I was either bored or waiting for her to be done with the computer so I could get on. The game looked really fun, and I found it entertaining to watch Brooke play it. Even back then, I was very creative, and The Sims seemed like the perfect game for creative people because the game let you create your own world. Basically, you could create your own little people, build and decorate your own houses, and in general, use your imagination in every way. The Sims was kind of like a dollhouse on the computer. Because of how much fun it was to just watch Brooke play The Sims, I actually tried to play it myself, even though I was only around four years old at the time. Because I was so little, I was bored just staring at the loading screens in the game. When I was still staring at the loading screens, waiting for the game to load, before I got a chance to actually play the game, Brooke actually came in the room and caught me trying to play her game. She got really upset and even told my parents that I was playing her Sims game without asking her. Don't worry, Brooke is not selfish or anything like that. She was only a tween back then, and it's normal for tweens to freak out over those kinds of things. I then realized that I was just too little to play a game like that, and that I should wait until I'm older and know better. I still continued to watch Brooke play it though, until she didn't really enjoy playing it anymore and stopped playing it for a while. That was until I was six, almost seven years old, and my older sister Jordan got The Sims 2 and started playing it. When I saw Jordan playing The Sims 2 for the first time, I thought to myself, Oh my gosh, this game looks so familiar, and sat down next to her to watch her play it. She was in Create a Sim, Making Her Sim Family, and I wanted to help her pick out what hairstyles to give her sims and what her sims should wear, but she just wanted to choose her own hairstyles and clothes for her sims. After watching Jordan play The Sims 2 for a really long time, I immediately became hooked to the game. The next day after school, I immediately ran to the computer to play Sims. This time, I actually got to play the game. After loading the neighborhood called Pleasant View, I immediately went on Create a Sim and created my own family. The only problem is, I didn't know how to save my family, so I always lost everything. Until I finally learned how to save families, I just played with existing families including the family Jordan made. I was so unbelievably hooked to the game that I always played it without stopping at all. I would spend all of my free time just playing The Sims. It got to the point where I was sickly obsessed with the game. I never wanted to do anything besides play The Sims. And when I wasn't playing it, I was either talking about it which really annoyed everyone in my family as well as everyone around me, or just thinking about it. Not only that, but when I saw The Sims 2 Family Fun Stuff on the shelf at Best Buy, I immediately picked it up and begged my mom to buy it for me. But she just said, no honey, not today, maybe for your birthday. My birthday was only a couple weeks away, but I was still extremely impatient. 
Once my birthday came along and I turned seven years old, I was opening my presents and found that my mom got me the Sims 2 Family Fun stuff for my birthday. I was really excited and I installed it as soon as I got home. This was my first expansion pack that I've ever gotten. So I was excited that I would have even more options for hairstyles, clothes, and furniture. After really enjoying family fun stuff, I begged my mom to get me more expansion packs. So she rewarded me with The Sims 2 Holiday Edition after I had done well on a test at school. And I, once again, had more options in Create a Sim, Buy Mode, and Build Mode. After that, we took a trip to upstate New York to visit relatives and have Thanksgiving dinner with them. And after dinner, my cousin Breezy told me that she just got The Sims 2 Pets and if I wanted to play it. I immediately screamed, YES! And we went over to the computer to play it. After being disappointed that there weren't any pets in the original Sims game, I was excited that I finally found an expansion pack with pets in it. Breezy and I played The Sims 2 pets all night and all morning the next morning before we had to go home. Breezy also had The Sims 2 open for business, which I enjoyed just as much as pets. I asked my mom to get me both Sims 2 Open for Business and Sims 2 Pets, and she said, Christmas is in only a few weeks, why don't we wait until then? Of course, I was impatient until Christmas because I really wanted pets in my Sims game. Once Christmas came along, I got both The Sims 2 Open for Business and Pets, but my mom told me I could only install one of them that day, not both. So I chose to install Pets first, and then I installed Open for Business a few days later. Those same relatives we spent Thanksgiving with then came down for New Year's Eve, and Breezy and I once again played Sims all night on New Year's Eve. Once my parents noticed how obsessed I was with The Sims, at first they thought that I was just going through a phase and that I would grow out of it. That was until I was eight and my teacher called my parents and told them that I was not only talking about The Sims too much during the wrong times, like group sessions with my class, but I always got distracted from my schoolwork. After doing so poorly in school just because I was that obsessed with The Sims, my parents took all of my Sims games away from me and uninstalled the game from our computer. Of course, I got really upset and had a meltdown about how I wanted my Sims games back and how I had the meanest parents in the world. Don't worry, my parents are not mean. I was not only really young back then, but I have Asperger's. So I tended to do those kinds of things back in the day. To make my loss of my Sims games easier, my mom took me to Best Buy and let me pick out a different game that wasn't The Sims. I picked out a computer game about dogs, because even back then, I absolutely loved dogs. This new dog game was just as fun as The Sims, and it got my mind off of The Sims for a while. At that point, I was no longer obsessed with The Sims. That was until 2009 when I was 10, and my mom asked me if I wanted The Sims back. Because I really missed The Sims despite not being obsessed with it anymore, I said yes. My mom got my old Sims games out, but it turns out we lost the booklet with the installation code for the base game on it. So I couldn't reinstall any of them. We had to go out and buy a new base game in order to play again. But I unfortunately had to wait until Easter. Once Easter rolled around, I got The Sims 2 Double Deluxe as a present. And then I went to install it. Then on, I was again obsessed with The Sims. In summer of 2009, I really enjoyed watching Sims 2 tutorials on YouTube and it actually inspired me to make my own Sims 2 tutorials and put them on YouTube. So I created my own YouTube channel where I would upload my Sims 2 tutorials. I called it Content Staller 49 because I had just learned how to download custom content for my Sims game and I wanted that to be my first tutorial. 
but I unfortunately had no idea how to upload a video. Once I finally figured out how to do that, I uploaded Sims 2 tutorials that were not only very bad quality at first, but they didn't teach you anything. I then started building my own modern houses in The Sims 2 and showing them off on YouTube after watching a lot of modern Sims 2 houses on YouTube and really enjoying them. But my modern houses were not only not actually modern, but they were not even good. So I asked my mom to get me The Sims 3 as a present for my 14th birthday, hoping it would be better than The Sims 2. Well, when I was opening presents on my 14th birthday, I got The Sims 3 Plus Pets. I loved animals, so that was the one I wanted. I never posted any Sims 3 videos on YouTube because then I had become tired of making videos for YouTube and stopped for a while. I eventually stopped playing The Sims 3 and The Sims series in general completely. I felt like it was time to move on, and that pretty much concludes my Sims obsession. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing my story about when I was obsessed with The Sims. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, feel free to comment down below if you were ever obsessed with The Sims and share your story. Thank you for watching. Bye guys!